Nice little experience. Over there. You see that? That's a leucistic white-tailed deer. A white-tailed deer. So what now? <laughs> leucistic means they have patches of white fur. Uh, I, I thought that was called getting old. Oh, I think my microphone is actually muted at the moment in the game. Oh, I'd love some rare venison. Oh! Did you hear that? Something's coming to get me. What? Wait here. I'm going to check it out. Martin, hold on. Martin! Who am I playing as? Am I his... Am I family to this guy, or...? I don't know. I don't know. I will say the walking's a bit slow, but I'm hoping I should be able to sprint in a, in a minute. <clears throat> I'm assuming the walking is slow because when it comes to uh, late game, when we see the monsters, the aliens, that's probably why it's kind of slow, so that you don't make much noise. Oh, there's vaulting, though. Watch your step. Be careful. And always watch your step. Different surfaces like water, dry leaves, glass, metal, or debris can produce a noisy sound and alert the nearby creatures. When you can't avoid noisy surfaces, walk slower. Wait, so how am I walking slower? Oh, I walk slower by pulling back on the scroll wheel. Okay, okay, okay. I got it. Why is my character acting so quiet right now, though? Because it's not like there's any noisy... It, it's not like the creatures have uh, invaded yet, have they? Or maybe they have, actually. Ooh. Martin. Hello. I'm assuming the aliens haven't invaded yet. I'm assuming this is the prologue. Oh, that's eerie. <laughs> yeah, because if this wasn't the prologue, our characters wouldn't have spoken in the beginning. Because they never spoke in the movie. Because of the fear that they'd be caught. So it's a bit strange that my character's like acting very quiet at the moment. Shit. Seriously, where is he? Oh, oh Jesus. So uh, <laughs> you're a fucking child. Oh, come on. Come on. That was funny. If you're five. Oh, just admit it. I got you pretty good. No. No, you didn't. I just I didn't know where you were. <laughs> I didn't know if you were hurt or This is where they're gonna invade, isn't it? And I can't I can't oh. lose another what's wrong? Alex, what's wrong? Did we just have a panic attack? Shit. Hey, 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 what what do you need? Huh? Alex, come on, come on. Please, please, please. Tell me how to help. Okay? Martin? Mom? What is it? I I don't know. She, she just Alex, it's me. It's Laura. Can you look at me, dear? That's it. Just look at me and breathe. Breathe. There you go. There it is. It'll be all right. Day one hundred and five. It's a wrench. Look for butters too. My flashlight just died. And for a radio. Why? Something I'm building. Could help all of us. Keep quiet. The rain helps. Yeah. Yeah, you too. Man was right. This place seems abandoned, but in good condition. We could find something useful here. I can hear Laura blaming me for putting her son in danger. Even if this was his idea. Our people need food and medicine. She hates me. We can't go back empty handed. Interesting. So we are with a group. Okay. I can sprint. Technically I can sprint. I'm assuming the rain for now is going to silent our sounds. Um, of the aliens. Popping up with a mic symbol, but it has a it has a line for it, which I'm assuming as it's not picking up my mic yet. You can see documents you found and Alex thoughts by opening the diary. I know you told me this. I opened the diary. You told me this. 
Right, what are we supposed to be looking for then? Just food? I imagine just food. I need a screwdriver. That's what the side objective is for. Okay. Seems like we can go this way. Oh, this is going to be a bit risky. I mean, for now, it seems like the rain is kind of like covering our sounds, which is very, very... Jesus Christ. Don't jump scare me like that. Okay. It's a cozy bathroom. I got the screwdriver. Pog. Um, I don't think I can go this way. I think... Oh, wait, 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 wait. We have an alternate route. Or maybe we just have to take this route no matter what. Oh, that is an awkward way to unscrew it, but okay. I mean, it doesn't take too long to unscrew, thankfully. Because that is a bit of an awkward way to unscrew it. I feel like this game is probably made better for controller. Oh, I don't want to make any noise. Even though we've not run into any aliens yet, I don't want to make any noise. Because you never know. You never know. We should be okay in the vents, I think. Because I don't think they're big enough to fit in the vents. Oh, I don't think the vents are big enough for them to fit. I gotta say, though, this game is very unexpected uh, for this year. I, I saw the trailer for it, uh, like, a couple months ago, but I didn't think it was coming out this year. And on top of that, I didn't think it was going to be a first-person game. I thought it was going to be a uh, VR game. I thought it was 100% uh, going to be a VR game, which, I, if it was, I, I still would have played it, I think. But I just wouldn't have been able to stream it. Hmm. Radio part. Yes. I'm assuming it's a radio part. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. So our character is sick, probably. Ooh, keys for number four. Where does number four take me? Oh my god, I'm really having to, like... <clears throat> I'm really having to uh, interact with every little thing. Lydia, you okay? My mum's freaking out. Saying something fell from the sky. Be safe, Sarah. P.S. Let's rain check the flower picking, okay? I know what fell from the sky. I know what fell from the sky. Oh, there was a mattress to cushion the fall. How lucky. Our character is not so lucky. Never mind. Oh, but conveniently we found pills. How convenient. <laughs> Interesting that she, uh... Oh, wait. Does she think she's pregnant? I think she thinks she's pregnant. She might be. Shit. She is. Oh, our well, we'll first look at our character. Hi. Found food. Good guy. Good guy. Seems abandoned. Okay. If you say so. <clears throat> what was his name? Alex? If you say so, Alex. I'm going to call him Alex. Bet you the food is rotten. Yeah, I'd be surprised if it wasn't, you know? Uh, but then again, saying because it's a ranch, it might genuinely be fresh, fresh fruit. Could also be frozen. Which would require power, so it's probably not frozen. <laughs> so, how does this place have power? What? Did he just turn on a light switch? How does this place have power? Yeah, that's pretty much what the aliens look like. Oh. That's so sweet. My dad is the best. Better than the rest. He keeps me safe all day. He keeps the monsters away. He tells me not to make a pee. He tells me not to make a pepe. Like the twitch emote. 
and protects me when I slip it. <laughs> so I can dream of mum. Because when I slip her, she's not gone. Oh. Oh. That's rough, Joshy. That's rough. Because anyone's who, anyone who's familiar with A Quiet Place knows what's probably happened to that family. Dad. Mum. Oh, this game. I can already tell it's going to play with my emotions. Alex. Alex, console me. Oops. What is it? Give me your hand. Another prank? Never. What is it? What is it, Alex? What is it? The hell is this? A glove. You like it? It's so ugly. Mm. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. No gift receipt. <laughs> I like these two. I like this couple. I mean, they're a couple. Oh, his name's not Alex, it's Martin. I thought his name was Alex, and I was just way off. Really? Yeah, we're sort of pregnant. A lot, I don't know if we should be cheering about this one. Oh no. Uh oh, we have asthma. Physical or mental stress aggravates Alex asthma. Her condition is represented by the stress icon on the top left of the screen. When Alex's stress becomes critical, she will suffer an asthma attack. Try to keep the asthma stress to a low level uh, by using inhalers or pills. Uh, when the stress level is too high, it can lead to an asthma attack. Avoid it by pressing F. I think, I think we're good. I think we're good. What should we do? Yeah, we'll figure it out. When it cries, laughs. We'll keep it safe. How? I don't know, but, but we will. And your mom? She'll be a grandmother. Laura hates me ever since. You saved me that day. Alex. Finally, something good. They'll need supplies. Will the hospital have them? No, we're low on everything. There's a camp. They'll have supplies. First, we bring food back to the hospital, and we'll go to the camp. Oh, I, I like this couple. I don't want anything bad to happen to them. But I know something's going to go wrong and somebody's going to get hurt. Because it's a quiet place and it is a brutal world. Alex. Oh, our name is Alex. Oh, well, that's why I got confused. I put something in your backpack along with the food. Oh, it's nice. They seem like they really support each other. But knowing that she's pregnant... In this type of world, it's going to be brutal. Right. So apparently, we got to get back to the hospital. So I'm assuming 
our little group is held up in the hospital. Oh, I get the feeling we're gonna see them soon. I get the feeling we're gonna see them soon. It's weird that it isn't picking up my microphone. I mean, it is, but it key is. It's the fact that my microphone, I don't think, has been activated. But I suppose because we haven't come across any of the aliens yet, it won't activate it. Yeah, he's having to volley very slowly. <clears throat> I think we're gonna see the one of the aliens soon. Oh, Alex, don't get. Uh, not Alex. Martin, don't get hurt. <laughs> oh, there it is. There it is. I knew it. I bloody knew it. I knew he would die. It was just too happy to be true. It was just too ha happy to be true. I knew he would die. That sucks, bro. Alex, how's it going? Any um, progress with the... Um, Phenometer. Phenometer. Right. You get it working? No. Y you need something? Oh, I'm heading to rations. Care to join me? No. No thanks, Dad. Okay. And how about, uh, how about I help you with the phenometer? I'm no tech wizard, but... Dad, no, it's not ready. Alex. I know. You... How? I'm a doctor. And your father. How far along? I don't... Two months? Guard is at the camp. One step at a time. All right. You shouldn't have a dead flashlight. I'll get you a battery. No, I'll get it. Are there any nausea pills? Antimedics. I'm not sure. Someone broke into the medicine cabinet. Now Mark won't let anyone near it. Okay. I'll collect what I can, so we're ready to leave once you contact the camp. Just be careful. I'm assuming I'm fine to just run everywhere because we're currently in our own campsite and I'm assuming this is kind of like the safe zone where I can make noise. Damn it, Mark, I didn't steal any pills. Well, someone did. Yeah, probably the Watsons. Or anyone else that was smart enough to get the hell out of here. No one is leaving until I find out who did this. I'm searching every room, including yours. You've gone off the deep end. Without Laura pulling on your leash. Watch it. Check, check what you want. I didn't take anything. <laughs> this area's off limits. Right. Sorry. I, I just heard someone got into the pills and I was worried. But I'll go. Okay. Good to see you're finally up. Laura will be glad to hear it. 
Ugh, I don't like that guy. Creep. Yeah, that was very creepy. Mm, you can find different types of items around the world. You can store or equip them whenever you want. Use Q for tools and E for consumables. Okay. Do I have infinite tier slots? Uh, okay. So, okay, that's how I... Oh, we have made, we have managed to make like a little, a little sound device. Oh, I don't like that. We've got, we've gone to sleep with it in our hand. I feel like Laura's going to walk in and she's going to find out. Did she just lock us in? Enough. I won't be your prisoner. All right. Well, it's clear what we have to do. We have to do it. Oh! You were right. It's not safe here. I knew Laura was upset, but I never thought she'd lock you up. Grab your things. I'm getting you out of here. Okay. Oh, why do I feel like something's going to happen to the dad as well? Whenever things start looking good, it's not. It's not. Something's going to happen. Also, is this little thing device going to be connected to my mic? Now, I feel like that's what's going on here. I feel like it's going to be connected to my mic. Father, what are we doing? Through here. Should let you out near the end of this floor. What about you? Oh, don't worry about me. I'll meet you at the camp. Just follow the train tracks. Now go. But Alex, please. We don't have time. <laughs> Oh, that's not good. There's definitely going to be an invasion on the hospital now. Am I just dead? I'm just dead. No! Well... It was picking up my mic. I didn't realize it was picking up my mic. Okay, now I'm going in. Now I'm going in, but I am going to have to be silent here, chat. Am I good to talk? I'm good to talk. Okay. Yeah, so this is where I'm going to have to start being silent. Shows the noise Alex is making in relation to the environment sounds around her. Be quieter than the environment, but remember tape, wires, and wits make up an experiment, not a professional tool. Okay. So I just have to be quieter than the environment. Every noise is dangerous. Try to reduce your sound as much as possible by avoiding noisy surfaces or allowing uh, or walking slowly on them. And hittable objects such as metal barrels and cans. Try to keep everything you do under the environment sound level. I know, I know the game, realistically, you are supposed to do the whole microphone thing to be super immersed. But it is making it incredibly dull because I can't talk to chat. So I'm going to turn the microphone off and I'm just going to do it based on the sounds that Alex makes. Yeah, I would have liked to play with like the no microphone thing, which I think if you're playing this on your own to be immersive, you can do that. And I feel like we're not making noise to be fair. So I think we're good to like just use flashlight i just stepped on glass bro where am i meant to be going actually i'm not entirely certain awareness if you made too much sound you would trigger the creature that will search for you you can understand when this happens by hearing the sound cue if so get out of there and avoid any noise until you feel the danger has gone away oh this is like alien isolation in a way you know, very much listens to the sound that you make. And then if it hears a sound from a certain location, it will go and check that location and even search for you. That's interesting. Although I feel like if you want to play this game super immersed, I probably would have the noise detection on. Um, 
because it does a very shit 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 oh no oh no lad why are you here I didn't expect it to be there. I didn't expect it to be there. I didn't expect the the, the the alien to be there. I turned around and he was all he was right in front of me. So good job I like, didn't keep him walking, isn't it? Right, I feel like we can walk. I feel like we're in a good spot at the moment. Uh, someone broke into the medicine cabinet. We know. Okay. Bro's dead. Yeah, bro is absolutely demolished. He is dead. He is gone. I feel like we've been in this hospital for so long. I will say, I feel like there's going to be a monster in this car park now. But if it gives us like a chance to maybe set off like one of the cars, that'd be cool. Am I good? No, I'm not good. Bro, what'd the rat do? What'd the rat do? Face the creature. Sometimes there might be situations where you'll need to pass through the creature to go to the next objective. Keep your distance. Don't make a sound and find a way out. At easy difficulty, use space to enter a state of focus and sense nearby creatures through walls and obstacles. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. I mean, am I playing on easy mode? Yeah. But hear me out. I wanted a nice experience, okay? And that's not a nice experience right there. Yeah, that is a big monster. Should I try, should I try and go and get a screenshot of it? Should I try and go and get a screenshot of the monster? I reckon I can, you know. I reckon I can get dead close to it. <laughs> I got a screenshot of it. Yes! <laughs> That's so funny. That was close enough, right? <laughs> that was not what I thought it was. Oh, bugger off. I was going that way. You clown. I was bloody going that way. What was that for? Why did you, why'd you hear that? Oh, this sucks. This sucks. I want to get past it. But it keeps just blocking my way. What, what What's the plan when we actually get to the door then? Because isn't the door just going to make a lot of noise? It looks like a fire exit. Is fire exit not just going to make a lot of noise? It's a good job we moved, isn't it? <laughs> I need that inhaler. I'm just going to sneak in. I'm just going to sneak in. Please don't turn around. Thank you. I'm going to take that. And we go. And we go.